It all started with a legend. Two friends, Carl and PM, will traverse the packs of Yu-Gi-Oh's past, opening 24 booster packs of each core set from the first to the latest, building a deck with their pulls and improving upon them and their strategies as they progress forward through the set list. The winner gets the chance at great prizes with our winner's wheel, but the loser gets a chance to make a comeback, getting a ban and their own wheel to spin. Come aboard and set sail with us upon the D-Ships. Save up to $300 on Google Samsung, Samsung, Samsung Galaxy S2 22 series with qualified activation. Save up to $300 on Samsung Galaxy S2 22. Hi, um, I, hey, listen, guys, uh, I, I, this is Carl from not this episode. <laughs> um, I forgot to do my fucking wheel for episode 12. Hey, I forgot to do my wheel for episode fucking 12. So, uh, I mean, I might have done it and <laughs> fucking just, just didn't record it. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to do the wheel for that episode now. Hey, hey, uh, fuck, let's do it. Uh, man, if it's a fucking, if it ends up being a rule, that's going to suck because that's not going to be for this episode. Let me tell you that. I got, it was a good couple weeks. It's going to land on fucking rule, isn't it? Wait. Oh, it didn't. That's interesting. I don't, I don't, I don't remember rolling for this episode at all. This is interesting. I have a fun idea. I have a fun idea, everyone. Hmm. Now. Hmm. <laughs> Do I want to use this right now or do I want to hold on to it for a second? I think because mm, you see, no, I can't really hold on to it, can I? This is for episode 12, so it's going to be uh, the, you guys aren't going to see whatever I choose for like a hot minute, huh? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck is in PM's decks? Oh, nay. Oh, nay. I could... I mean, I could just say Harpies. Could, the, the easiest thing in my mind is to just say Harpies. And just get Harpies Feather Duster. But that's banned, for one. And... I mean, shit. Creature Swaps. Not bad at all. Oh, Bottomless Trap Hole is also really good. Ooh, yeah, there are some options. Okay. My choices right now are either bottomless trap hole, compulse, or creature swap. I could pick harpies, but we have that agreement currently. I don't know if PM's going to honor it. I don't know if PM's pulled a Raigeki. Um, I think for right now, and you won't see it for like another two weeks. Uh... I will probably pick the bottomless trap hole because that seems like the best thing for me to do is grab another form of monster removal for when he summons something that seems like the smartest idea maybe or I could copy his royal decree oh shit I can get two copies of royal decree Fuck no, uh, you know what? It has to be a one of. I will say that it can't be you copy something to get another copy of it in your... It has to be a one that you don't have. It has to be a card that I don't have, that PM has. I can't copy something that I already have a copy of. I wish I had a copy of Heavy Storm. I would, I would absolutely, I would absolutely copy a Heavy Storm if he had it. Holy shit. Um, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go with Bottomless. Bottomless seems like the, the smartest idea because it's good monster removal. Back to the episode. Okie dokie, back at it again at the winner's wheel. Let's go straight to it.
Cool. Awesome. I'll take it. See you in the pack rundown. That's what it's called. Anyway, this week we're doing Soul of the Duelist. There's nothing fucking good in here. Well, I mean, Master of Oz. That's just for me. I love him. Uh, Hammer Shot's pretty all right. Uh, Ectoplasmer's all right. Uh, we got the Armed Dragons, the level monsters. We got Mobius, the singular good card Mobius. Uh, actually, no, I'm lying. Because Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke is really good. 1800 light monster. Start of the damage step. Attacks a face up and defense position monster. Destroy it. It's a face up defense. Is that what he said? Face up defense. Wow, that's a little worse than I thought he was, actually. That's great. Uh, of course, we got the level monsters. Mystic Swordsman's probably the best one because he's just uh, the Ninja Grandmaster. Not Grandmaster. What's his fucking name? You know the one. Sasuke Samurai. That's the one. Attack to face down defense position monster. Destroy it. And destroy the monster by battle, send a face up card to the graveyard, and uh, summon Mystic Swordsman level 4. We got the Ojama King. We got Horus. Ultimate Insect. Charcoal and Pachi, a fire monster with 2100 defense. Pretty pretty strong and good, if I say so myself. Uh, fucking. I don't even. Like, who cares? Horus the Servant. Black Dragon Chick. Mass Dragon. Mass Dragon's pretty good for uh, subbing in Horus and then getting out the, the larger Horus almost immediately. Uh, these two aren't good. People like to think they are. Uh, look, we got Nova Minier Bug. Medi loves that one. We got the Enraged Mooka Mooka and Hade Hain and Sandwich. Dark Factory's pretty good, actually. Big Wave, Small Wave, I remember existing. Destroy all face up water monsters you control, especially some water monsters from your hand up for the number of monsters destroyed by this effect. Yeah, that's not terrible per se. But only if you're running, you know, a, a water deck. Yeah, this deck's not this this pack's not necessarily good. Clear a card name if that card is in your opponent's hand, discard all copies of it. Otherwise, discard a random card. That's very situational. Till the end of this turn, all effects of defense position monsters are negated. Yeah. Like nothing's really Level up is good for the level monsters because it's just summon the next level of it immediately. Otherwise, like Neo Aquamador, I guess. It's fucking Labyrinth Wall with attack. Sure. Skull Dog Marin, the dog from last time died. Oh, it's got 2000 defense. Wow, you're a lot better than I thought you were. Not by a lot, but you know. Yeah, this this pack shouldn't really exist. There's There's like nothing here. But well, I guess we're just gonna go in there and fucking see if we get Mobius. Because that's the only card worth getting in here. And if we don't, I'm not gonna bother re-rolling because who fucking actually cares? All right, 24 packs of Soul of the Duelist. Let's just get it over with. At least show me Mobius. I mean, that's a hell of a way to start a pack one. Let me tell you. Sandwich in the first pack? Pretty good. You know, uh, Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke and Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight in the first pack is very good. Uh, crazy good cards, actually. Let's see if we can keep that up. Okay, I don't know what either of these do. So let's take a quick look. While you control a monster, you take no battle damage. That's not bad, actually. Discard one card from your hand. Any damage you take from your opponent's cards and effects becomes zero. All right, you know what? Both of those are pretty good, actually. Actually kind of wild. All right, third pack. Yo, the Ojama King. What is Mind Wipe? This one, I think, is just... Is this even for rituals? Yeah, 1500 attack for a ritual. That's cool. Activate only if your opponent has three or less cards in their hand, adds their hand to the deck and shuffles it, draws the same number of cards they added to the deck. That's not terrible, necessarily. I could fuck PM up. Okay, all right. I'm down. I forgot to give a shout out to... Oh, we got a level up. Wow, wild. I forgot to give a shout out to Dark Mimic, who I believe... Yeah, it's just flip, draw a card. Send this card to the graveyard. Special summon a Dark Mimic level 3 from your hand or deck. During your standby phase. It's, it's not a bad card. It's just a draw. Well, there's another Dark Mimic. There's a Noble Beneater. Another level up. Another spirit barrier. Wild. All right, I want to give a shout out to Absolute End here. Because, like, why would you ever... 
activate only during your opponent's turn this turn attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct what the uh, sure i guess there's some strategy to it but that's fucking dog shit dog what are you fucking doing all right we got the dark mimic level three we got prenumbral soldier lady what do you do this card battles a light monster gains a thousand attack during the damage step only 2100 level six get out of my fucking face dark mimic level three however destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard draw one card but if this card was special summoned by the effect of dark mimic level one draw two instead that's not bad actually that's pretty good and its defense is what is it, a thousand a thousand yeah all right could be worse i forgot about malastal of demise too during next damage phase after this card was sent from the field of the graveyard by the effect of a continuous spell card special summon it from the graveyard sure okay whatever you say whatever yeah dog sure all right, we got a play set of Dark Mimic level one, a play set of level up, and we've got a charcoal in Pachi. He's pretty good. I might actually want that. Okie dokie, 29 packs of Soul of the Duelist starting right now. Got the introduction of the level monsters in this pack, and uh, we want all of them. Not all of them, we just want Horus. Uh, level up is the, the good um, uh, level up card. Mind Crush, I believe, just gives us information. Yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty good. I might end up playing that. Might end up playing that. And uh, what is Mind on Air? It's bad, is what it is. It is just bad. Okay, next pack. Come on, Horus. Uh, Charcoal and Patchy is uh, a good wall. There's my footballer. Sandwich is unnecessary, but it's here. Uh, Medi's popping off with Noble Maneater Bug. Uh, another Apache. Sure. Cool. Horus Servant. What does this do? It is a very bad protector for Horus. Cool. I guess I always default to that. Um, dope. That's it here. Actually, hold on. Uh, add two level monsters from your graveyard to your deck and then shuffle it. No, it's it's just bad. It is just bad. Uh, Ultimate Insect is not the level monster that we want. I believe like the higher level ones are better, but mm, no. We want Horus. Arm Dragon is also pretty good. I forgot about Arm Dragon. Uh, cool. I'll I'll take Arm Dragons as well. Uh, doesn't this just set the hand limit to five? Yeah. Uh, Dark Factory of Mass Production is pretty good if you are playing any sort of normal deck. Like, it's good for uh, certain Exodia builds where you actually want to discard um, Exodia pieces, and then you can just retrieve them back to your hand. What is this? Take control of one face-up monster on your opponent's side of the field until the end of the turn. It's not... I don't hate it. Another Dark Mimic level 3. Really crazy, actually. Uh, another Nobleman. Even more important, another Sandwich. I can't use it, but hey, it's there. Nice. Another Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. That's really good. And if we're going to run him, we could run Ninjutsu Art of Decoy. I got a face up ninja monster control cannot be destroyed by battle. That's not bad. Element soldier and howling insect. Let's take a look. Water control of this card cannot switch. Earth and negate the effect on effect monster. This card destroyed by battle. Sure, dog, whatever you say. Destroyed by battle sounds like here. Especially someone one insect type monster. 1500 or less attack. So you're just a searcher. Gotcha. All right, so, so far this pack has been exactly what I've wanted. So we got Mind on Air. Must play with their hand revealed. It's just funny. It's not good. It's it's really not good. Wow, I thought it's attack and defense were better than that. Wow, you know, that's trash. Mobius, however. I need to take a look at Abyss and Closing Data, but Mobius. Y'all don't know Mobius. There should be someone target up to two spell traps on the field, destroy them. Just really good. I'm glad I'm getting a lot of the Monarchs because they're crazy. Because they're crazy. Abyssal's Designator. Pay a thousand life points to clear a type and an attribute. We're going to send one monster with both the declare type and attribute from the hand of the 
or deck to the graveyard. Sure. All right, let me just say, first off, Mass Dragon's really good. Second off, really didn't need another fucking peanut penumbral soldier lady and mind on air didn't need those at all arm dragon level three i think that's our first all right hammer shots crazy dark factory is crazy mystic swordsman level four cannot be normal summoned but can be normal set cool at the start of the damage step of this card to destroy attacked a face down defense position monster to destroy that monster during the end phase should a monster battle this turn send this face up card to the great rest which will summon level six from hander deck I will take it. I don't think we get level six until another pack later down the line. But I mean, it's pretty good. Unshaven Angler, I think, is pretty good too. Could be something a water monster treat this one monster's two tributes. That's not terrible, but it's not great. Hammer Shot is fantastic. That's just the new Smashing Ground. What is Taunt? Um, activate during your opponent's main phase one. Select one monster on my side of the field, uh, and they must attack it only. Uh, okay. Not terrible. I don't hate it. Uh, Muko. Spirit Barrier, I believe. Yeah, while you control a monster, you take no battle damage. I remember playing this card in... Oh god, what is it fucking called now? Cloudians. Cool, so I'm prepped for Cloudians whenever whenever we get to that pack. Um, activate when an effect of drawing cards is activated. Both players see the cards drawn by the effect and discards them all to the graveyard. Uh, okay. We're not really draw heavy at the moment. This would have been a lot better during the pot era. <clears throat> but considering we're both only at one pod, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not going to be playing that. Black Dragon Chick is pretty okay, considering I'm the only person with a red eyes at the moment. Mystic Swordsman and Arm Dragon. Arm Dragon's a level is an alt. I'm sorry, I didn't realize Arm Dragon was an ultra. I'm sitting here going, where the fuck is my ultras? I apparently already pulled one. Okay. Uh, cool. I'd like to see, like, three and seven and ten. Did it, does it go up to ten? Fuck, I don't remember. There it is. There's, there's number seven. So, yes, it does go up to ten, because uh, I, I specifically remember him, like, standing up. So, yeah, it does go up to ten. Uh. Okay. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen three yet. I'd love to get three at some point. I okay, yeah, this card exists. Yeah, Master of Oz. Uh, I'm sure Carl's gonna find some way to fucking play it. What is Absolute End? This turn, the attacks from your opponent's monsters become direct attacks. Right. Okay, if I yeah, if I really want to protect my monsters, it just hit me in the face. No, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. No, no. It's a bad pack. It's not a good pack. Okay. Wait, what? Are you an ultra rare or not, my guy? Hang 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 the fuck on. Hang the fuck on. Hold up. Ultimates. So my shit just glitched. But I did pull an Ultra. Because I got an Ultra and a Rare from that pack. So what did I actually get then? Was it another Arm Dragon level 7? Okay, I... Whatever, whatever. We gotta, we gotta review the tapes on this one, Chief. Uh, cool. Dope don't know what the fuck is going on right now um okay there's my playset maybe of of this card cool give me more armed dragons i guess no more masses of oz please another hammer shot's fucking crazy another mass dragon's really good if i could get some of the lower horses that would be great please and thank you 
ask and you shall receive. There's Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four. Now I just need level six. And if I can get that, I'm honestly probably dropping, if not dropping chaos, then just throwing Horus in there. I, I feel like running Horus might work a little better than what we've been doing, but I mean, who knows? Interesting. All right, well, we've had more than enough dark mimic level ones but we have the level three we have a place at a level three and that's not bad uh, ectoplasma is crazy right during each player's end phase turn player must tribute one face up monster and if they do inflict damage to their opponent equal to half the original attack of the tributed monster sure i guess okay all right well another dark mimic level three and a hollowed life barrier. I have two of these. I, I mean, I guess I can run that. Sure. All right, I think I have a place out of Master Dragon now. Listen, I desperately need that level six Horus, please and thank you. Please, I am begging you. These are the last few fucking. All right, we got another level four. A uh, level six, again, actually needed in order to do this. I have two packs left. Please let me see level six. I'm not seeing him. I'm not seeing him at all. Unless the last pack wants to be kind. No, there's another mind on air. A play set of mind on air instead. All right, so we can't really run a Horus. <laughs> like, I guess. No, level eight can't be normal summoner set. It has to be special summon with a uh, level six effect. That, mm, that sucks so fucking bad. That's genuinely infuriating. How many Sasuke's did I get? I got two of them, right? That's better than fucking none. As I was expecting, not a single fucking one. Uh, I mean, this is this is good. We got the Mobius, which is what I cared the most about. Mobius, we got uh, Sasuke. Uh, I think I think we're gonna sit pretty with this. I don't think did I get six swordsman level two? I don't think I even got level two. So I don't think I can even run a fucking Mystic Swordsman at all. Which is, you know, just fucking masterpiece. So fucking good. I needed it so bad. Like I need a spiked dildo shoved into my asshole and scraped around. Anyway, uh, we're taking this. Like we got the one thing that we actually really needed, which was the Mobius and the Sasuke actually. And we'll just uh, see where we can go from here. Hang on. Hold the phone. I'm not tripping, right? Number level 10 of Arm Dragon does exist. Does it not? Does that come at a later set? I guess it does come at a later set because I'm not seeing it unless I'm totally blind. No, it just doesn't exist. Okay. That is unfortunate. Um, still like zero horses. Which is unfortunate because I love I love Horus, and I'm just not pulling it. Just pulling a bunch of other garbage. Um. Okay. Hollowed life barrier. That's my first super. Discard. Um. Uh, not second super. Discard one card from my hand. Uh, any damage I take from cards and effects becomes zero for the turn. It's Wabaku with a cost. But also my my monsters can still be destroyed by battle. It's not very good. Ectoplasma. See, it's removal, but it also hurts me. But it's removal. But it's also removal for Carl. Because if I have anything out on the field at the end of my turn, I need to get rid of it. But at least I'm doing damage to Carl. But then he'd be doing damage to me. Very much a double-edged sword. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, are you okay? Are you okay? What? What is this? What is this? What is going on? Why is this? Why is this this? Excuse me? What is going on here? This... So can just any card just be an ultra? For some fucking reason? No, I'm tripping, right? The, the, like... Or am I not tripping? Is this shit just fucked? 
I don't know, dog. I don't know. Whatever. Final five packs. Dark Mimic is not what we want. I would like one of the big horses. Giving me plenty of the babies. I got I got a play set of the babies. What is greed? Each time a player draws a card from an effect, they take 500 during the end phase for each card drawn by that effect. Why during the end phase? That's stupid. Should I re-roll? I mean, I have a complete armed dragon package. I did not get Horus, which is unfortunate. My rares might be fucked. I don't know. I apparently have an ultra rare charcoal impachi, which if that's the case, I'm kind of mad because of all the ultras that I could have gotten in this pack. Unless like I'm scrolling through here just to see if it didn't like glitch and it's actually another card entirely, which I'm not seeing any of the other ultras. Fuck it, I'm keeping it. Whatever, to hell with it. Uh, all right, uh, see you in the deck profile. Hold up. Before we keep going, I want to talk to you all about the Millennium Microphone Master Saga, or M3S. It is the sister series to this where me and Shibuya, Shibuya Gato and I, rather, pulled like 10 Master Packs off of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, or Y-G-O-P-R-O-D-E-C-K.com. And we take those, take the secret packs we get from them, open 10 of those, and build a deck. Couldn't do it on uh, Master Duel for some reason. The reason being money. Hey, listen, it's, it's, those those things are those gems are expensive to get. So we're doing it this way. It's a good way to do it. We have uh, three episodes out, four episodes recorded. Uh, go and check that out if you would like. Uh, the link is down below, and I'll, I'll have a little a little guy pop up over here, a little man who'll pop up, and he'll be like, "Hey, check this shit out." It's a it's a box. It's a box. It doesn't say anything. It'll just be it'll just be there. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm I'm in the tunnel. I'm I'm in the tunnel. I like tunnel visioned into this. I get it now. I get I get why Gage did this fucking 17 mo weeks in a row. I was gonna say months, but actually that's that's also pretty pretty accurate. Um, I mean, it's about the same deck. I just added in the Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke for more attack power, Mad Dog of Darkness for more attack power, more monsters for more attack, also Dark Mimics to get more draws. It's just a flip, you know? I could put in the level three, but he has to be sent to the graveyard. This is just a flip to draw a card. So it's kind of better because it's just like, it won't survive anything, neither would level three. It won't survive most things, but it'll like, get stuff going you know um i mean fucking i don't know this is solid to me i, I would still like to run skull archfiend of lightning but i already have how many bricks in my hand here one two three four that was actually not that bad the thing is having to get to any of these four out of the other 44 cards in the deck so you know i decided to run hammer shots and smashing grounds instead of the dark cores because the dark cores help me discard cards that is true but i think i just need monster removal that doesn't need requirements in case i have nothing in my hand i've decided to side out the delinquent duo and the trap dust shoot just because i need i need things in this deck that will do i need to be able to just get in there and get shit i might actually cut some things I don't quite want to cut the Royal Magic Libraries because they are just, you know, they're good defenders. I mean, I could cut like a moth. I could cut the Dark Mimits. Mimits. You know, a lot of a lot of one of cards, which doesn't quite help that much. But oh, I threw in the Singular Draining Shield because I only got one Draining Shield. Um, I also decided to run these again, if you couldn't tell. The Magic Drain 7 tools. Because, I mean, 
they they are just very helpful the only thing that could stop me is if pm runs uh horus or if he runs gravity bind because then i'm just fucked but otherwise i mean i could i could just play pack i could just go back in with pack but i don't know it's tough i if you couldn't tell with this with this pack uh, I have two different strategies, one revolving around only spell cards, one rev revolving around only trap cards. I mean, it'd be better if IO wasn't banned, because then with this strategy, I could just flip IO and not worry about spell cards, but... Uh, yeah. I think that Jevil Deltarune is going to win this time. I mean, what is our next, what is our next set? I'm pretty sure our next set is a reprint pack yeah so our next one is dark beginning one that's the big one and then after that we get a tournament pack Ooh. after that we get a tournament pack and then it's rise of destiny is that the last dm pack no we have a couple more after that but we're almost to i think lost millennium is the first gx pack uh this is this is like I said, this is the deck. This is what we're going with. We're going to try and win with this, especially with our boys, Mobius and Zaborg. Well, well, it's, it's up to fate. It is in God's hands now. Okay, and here is the deck. Um, somewhat confident. Uh, okay. I could have just played last week's deck again, but for variety's sake, I decided to switch things up at least a little bit. Um, still keeping like my like major chaos package, but uh, I decided to go with level dragons. Um, I would have really rather preferred to have the horses, but. Um, I decided to not re-roll for whatever fucking reason. So here I am with Arm Dragons. This is probably a mistake, but here we go. So yeah, got the Arm Dragon level threes. They just need to survive one turn until I get to my standby face to activate its effect to bring out number five. And then once number five destroys something by battle, uh, I can bring out the one seven that I have. But otherwise, it's just a 2400 beat stick. Uh, that I can pitch something from my hand to pop something on Carl's Field. Um, I have level up in here so I can skip the whole waiting thing to go from 3 to 5 or 5 to 7. Um, Mass Dragon just brings out uh, Arm Dragon level 3 faster. Um, so if I have this out, Carl only has one monster, kills my Mass Dragon, brings out level 3, then it's my turn, then I can just bring out level 5 easy, no problem. Or if... You know, Carl has mul like multiple shits out on the field. I can go f to Mass Dragon, Mass Dragon into uh, Cave Dragon or Mass Dragon, Mass Dragon into Arm Dragon. Um, and then it's just uh, my Chaos package where, where I'm, I'm King of the Chaos. My Reflect Bounders for my Light and uh, uh, Moth. And for my Darks, I have Breaker, Witch, and Sink and, and Exiled Force. Is still here. It's it probably shouldn't be here because it is too slow. If I could bring him out onto the field for free, then yeah, no problem. But the fact that I need to waste a normal summon to bring him out and then activate its effect. I don't know. It should probably be gone now, but I'm I've kind of grown attached to it. Um No, it's gone. Okay, no, it's gone. It, it, like, it is a problem solver, but I have cheaper alternatives to problem solve as uh, problem solvers. Like, I included my hammer shot. Uh, I still have my smashing grounds. Uh, I have this for spell and trap removal. Um, if I need to take a Carl's monster, I have a change of heart and my creature swap and um, a plethora of traps to either stop Carl from hitting me or just to get rid of whatever Carl has out on the board. 
And yeah, my extra deck didn't, or my side deck didn't really change much. I just added a uh, Buster ba Blader back in here, just in case Crawl is also uh, going with uh, some sort of level dragon strategy. But uh, yeah, that is the deck. If I really, really wanted to win, like guarantee a victory, I, sh I could have just gone with last week's deck. Last uh, last week's deck, uh, minus, uh, oh god, what was banned last week? Michizuri. Uh, it, it was it was perfectly fine. Like the only change I would have made to the deck was add in my one copy of Hammer Shot, and that's it. Probably remove Dark Core, which I did in this uh, in, in this deck. So, see you in the games. Happy, hey, I'm back at it. Howdy, Captain. It's another week. It's another wonderful week. How were uh, how was the how was the polls? Not as good as I would have hoped, but they weren't necessarily bad. I feel the same way. Not enough for a new strategy, but oh, I switched things up a little bit. Ooh, I wanted to, but I didn't get a didn't get a lot of what I really wanted. Hi, yeah. I don't know why I keep defaulting to paper. Um, oh, I didn't even realize you were doing that. Uh, the last few what? episodes, I've realized I've been hitting paper, and I'm just like, I'm just used to it for, for some reason. Let's go first. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay, let's try and improve this. Oh my god. Interesting. It'd be great if I drew that. I will set to end my turn. Okay, that's not a bad draw. I will summon Breaker. Okay. And I will use Breaker's effect. You got that. All right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's uh fucking see what this is. Mass Dragon. Ah, the Mass Dragon. You go with the Arm Dragon strat. <laughs> that is unfortunate for me. Better go ahead and activate its effect. Yeah. I'm bringing one from the deck. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. Let's just go for it. Uh, set one. And it's you. The first. Oy. That is very unfortunate, because that means I'm not keeping anything on my field now. Well. Hmm. Uh, okay. Let's see what you got. Oh, come on. Ah, I see. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of that. All you, Chief. Young Rageki. No, it's looking like a young game, too. Really? Yeah, my hand's all monsters. Oof. Yeah. I, 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 all I have is Night Assailant. That ain't gonna do shit. Well. I will go first. Okay. This is not as bad 
as it could have been. Okay. My hand, however, is actually it could be worse. Number three. Okay. Stamping destruction. Let's go for that one. I get you break. Okay. I will set one. I'll set two. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'll set three. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, I play traps. that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, none of that's really bad. Uh, what is bad is that I don't have a way to fucking get rid of this. Which I needed to very desperately. I'll just set one and pass. That is unfortunate. All right. I know what's going to happen if I do that. We'll pass for now. Bro, come on. Okay. Man, I'll, I would love to have a copy of Harpies myself right now. Shouldn't have banned it. Uh, I, don't, I don't have one. Yeah, but if you rolled copycat while well, it, was, it wasn't unbanned, then, uh, well, you see, that's the thing. I, I'm pretty sure I rolled unban on a ticket, and I didn't get rid of it. So you just house unbans? Is that how it works? You can house one, and if you roll it again uh, on the wheel, you have to reroll. Okay. So I have one that I don't think I've used. I'll have to go back in the footage. This one. You picked wrong. Okay. Okay, how do I do this? Let's see. I'm going to flip Witch of the Black Forest. Okay. Change of heart. Sure. It's a Borg. Sadness. Seven tools. Oh, okay. I will grab Mobius. Not use him yet, but I can try to swing. That's what I was waiting for. All right. Yeah, I knew this would happen. Mobius. Mm hmm. Ooh, yeah, those are pretty good. So, wing. Cool. None of these are removal. I'll set this. You know what? I'm going to do this just to get another counter on there. Okay. In phase two, that one, pass. That is a card. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, <laughs> flip summon. Cool, you got it. Doesn't matter. 
Yeah, uh, I bricked hard. I got two level fives in my hand. Damn. I'm not gonna BM you. I'm not gonna hit with the Night Assailant yet. Maybe game three. I mean, you had exact with just with what you had on the I, I know, I just wanted to ensure, just in case. It's probably a mistake, but fine. Let's go first. Oh my god. Mm hmm. And that's it. Oh, oh. All right. Yeah, that's fair. That happens. I will set one. I will set two. Yep. Wow, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, get him. They literally did this not even 15 minutes ago. I waited for them to do this before we started, and now they're doing it in the middle of, of this. It happens. It's very cool. I'm going to summon my Mad Dog of Darkness. Ooh. And yeah, let's make an attempt. Uh-huh. All right, and I'll pass it off there. Hey game, I love a monster. Well, okay, <laughs> let's let's see if this helps. That is a pot of greed. <laughs> okay. Yep. Man. You know what PM I liked that play so much? Minus one for it. Yeah. Uh ooh. Alright. Okay. I will summon Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke. Okay. I will attempt. Sure. I wonder if this works. Let's try it. Yeah. Wow, yeah. it does. Actually surprising. Ah, dog. All right. Okay, let's go. Centerbolt bots. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's let's get you let's get you back up there. Let's uh get you out there. And let's try to swing. And face. Okay, summonable monster. Yay! 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 Oh, Yay! Oh, let's level up. Um. Uh, hmm. No, I'm scared of his face down. His face down's scary. Uh, let's mitigate some damage. Shall we? Wait, hold on. What's in my graveyard? A whole lot of fucking nothing. Yeah, that was my only monster in the graveyard. All right. Bye bye. And uh, let's pop that one. Okay. That this face. is a problem. Let's hit this one. This is what I would say if it didn't have Sakurai. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Yep. There you go just had nothing to summon for how many turns a uh lot. five turns yeah was a good couple turns you had nothing there you go yep you know what the other card was bls oh that's good that's a good feeling congratulations uh it's all right if that sakuretsu didn't work i had change of heart and zaborg in my hand so i was just gonna sacrifice your monster off i had magic train uh, chase down. so i i could have at least stopped the change of heart and and a horn of heaven to stop anything really scary so uh yeah i could have just played last week's deck 
You could have. And, and and that's what I should have done. But I'm like, oh, no, let's switch it up and lose. Well, I, I wanted to switch it up this week, too. And I definitely wanted to when my first pack had Horus, the Black Flame Dragon, level eight. I, I only got level fours. Wanted I, it. I wanted eight. I got eight. And I got two fours and no six. And I was like, well, I can't. I literally cannot run this without six. Yeah, I got plus five packs. I'm like, oh, surely I'm going to get fucking... Uh, Horus. No. Well, depending on what I get on my wheel, I might try to grab level six to like not play this deck again. But who yeah. knows? Honestly. I tried. I, I, hey, I managed to get level seven out for one game. You did. I, I will. I will take that. You did, and you got a victory with it. Yes, I did. So and it's not like the, the other, deck didn't work. And the other two games. Oh well. Okay, to a degree. Yeah. <laughs> to a degree. The, ga the game works. Right up until I draw every single level five in my hand and I draw all of my removal, but then I have nothing to sustain that removal because I have no monsters to summon. Because yeah. I had I had my dragon package, which was level three, level five, level seven, and mass dragon. And then I had uh, the uh, like skeleton of my chaos package, which was uh, BLS, uh, uh, chaos dragon, um, Chaos uh, Sorcerer, uh, and then it was, what was it? Uh, two Reflect Bounders, Moth, Sangan, Witch, and Breaker. That's it. That's it. Those are my monsters. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen any of my Chaos Monsters in the last, what, two weeks? I see them, but I never have an opportunity to play them. Oh, man. So here's the thing, PM. Mm -hmm. Our next pack is a reprint pack. Yes, that is true. Oh, first off, actually, before we get to any of that, what are you banning? Um, what am I banning? I am banning Raigeki Break. You're banning Raigeki Break, okay. Yes, because I don't have that, and you do, and I hate it. <sighs> well, I was going to say that's my only form of back row, but I don't think you have any back row other than Giant True Nade, and that doesn't destroy. Uh, <laughs> True. It's just uh, True Nade, which I did not play this week, and um, and Breaker. That's that's all I got. Do you think that we should enact the MST clause? No. No. All right. Mm -mm. Not yet. That's okay. not that bad. Uh, Plus, MST reprints are around the corner. That is also very true. We do have a reprint pack next, which I think MST is in. Yes, it is. Is that super? That is doable. So there is a chance. There are 250 cards in this fucking pack. It's a slim chance, but it's a chance. It's there. So I want to talk two deals with you. Okay. The first one is regarding GX. <clears throat> when we get to GX, mm -hmm. I f which is, uh, what is it? Lost Millennium is the first GX pack. Okay. I think that we should opt out of playing Chaos at all. I mean, does okay. Here's here's the issue that I have with that. Chaos yeah. is what three cards? Yeah, it is three cards. It is three cards. What's the big deal? It's three cards that have yet to be played. That that is true. It is that I I want us to try and do decks other than chaos, pretty much. That's what I mean, I mean by I, opt out. If there's I no other choice, I, then I don't have an issue with it. It's just that like it's one copy of one card that yeah. that we've had for several weeks and we have yet to play. <clears throat> I had the best Chaos package starting out. Other than Chaos Sorcerer, neither of us have, have played our big guns. Yeah. I've had uh, uh, a Dragon in my deck since I pulled him. I haven't played him. I want to. I've had him in my hand a couple of games, but I've, n I've never had uh, the graveyard set up for it. So I'm like... Until chaos becomes a problem, the only way, the the only reason I, I'm saying it is because I don't want all of GX to just be us playing chaos and nothing new. I mean, we're going to be playing new shit. If 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 chaos is just one or two cards added to the deck, also along with like the better light and darks that come out in the future, then I don't I don't see it as a problem. That is fair. If now, if it was like a playset, then yeah, absolutely, yeah, cut it down. But considering we only have one copy, 
then now, I'm I'm fine with what it is. Here's moment. my other proposition to you. Okay. Because I know that Raigeki is reprinted in this next pack, I think. Mm -hmm. Actually, is it? I don't see it in here. Nope, there it is. It is an Ultra. Okay. This is my proposition to you, PM. Mm -hmm. First off, if you get a Raigeki, it's just, we're limiting it to one. Okay. Because that means I could also have the chance of getting more than one Raigeki, and I feel like that'd be unfair for either of us. Mm -hmm. If you do not get a Raigeki... Okay. I would be willing for you to get one copy of Raigeki if I got one copy of Harpies. I Because am... they're free board wipes. <sighs> I'm of two minds of it. Because on the one hand, I agree that it's fair. But on the other hand, I think it becomes boring. Just having a one-sided field wipe. And, well, actually, you know what? Considering how much of the game later on is that, then, yeah, you know what? F fuck whatever I was about to say. Yes, I agree. All right. Because then they'll both go to one. Yeah. And they'll both be unbannable. Yes, I agree. So then we'll always have an option for a board wipe for uh, monsters or for spells. I concur. I feel like that'd be the best thing for both of us. That seems fair. Okay. Man, I, I completely forgot. Like, literally everything's in this. We could actually get the chance to play Exodia. It's true. We, we both each have one piece, right? I think so. And all the pieces are at common in uh in a dark revelation or dark beginning. Mm -hmm. The only issue would be the head, which is an ultra. Is also next week a tournament pack? Or is that the week after? No, that's after, I believe. Okay. Let me go check again just to be sure. I have the page open. Uh, tournament pack five is after dark beginning one. Okay. No, that's fine then. And that one's not necessarily bad. You got Big Shield Gardener, you got Luster Dragon, Needle Worm, Kaiku, the Soul, uh, the Ghost Destroyer, Bazoo, the Soul Eater. Oh, Beast King of the Swamp. Uh, it's not as good as actual like King of the Swamp. King yeah, of the Swamp not. actually searches Polly. The that one, Goddess with the Third Eye, Versago, and Mystical Sheep Number One are all just like fusion substitutes. Mm -hmm. And then Pyramid Turtle. Yeah, I don't have a play set of that, so... That'd Me be, either. That'd be, I'd be very happy with getting that. That'll be for... What is it? Rise of Destiny comes after that? Yes. Yeah. Which also... Not a good pack. Yeah. <laughs> Best thing in that pack is the Koichi. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. But before that, Dark Beginnings. Oh, actually, I'm lying. Harpy's Hunting Ground's in there, too. Okay. Wait, harpies actually, no, not, not okay. I pulled no harpies. Well, there's harpy lady one, two, and three in there also. Ah, uh, okay, that makes it a little bit better. So there's a chance. Those those are all commons too. So who knows? Did you did you pull any monarchs? I don't think I did. No, <laughs> I. Yeah, I don't think I did. Otherwise, I definitely would have been playing. I definitely would have been playing uh, Mobius. Yeah, the, the, the um, best one. Maybe I got the light one? Hold on. Hold, hold, hold. The only issue with Zaborg is that, you know, if he's the only monster on the field, his effect has to activate no matter what, so you have to pop him. Which I was hoping that I could do a play of sacrificing a monster to get him out, destroying himself, and then monster reborning to get him back out. How the fuck do you spell Monarch? M-O-N-A? Yes. Yeah, I have no Monarchs. Wow. I'm I'm surprised I managed to pull both of the ones we have so far. Yep, Bubkiss. Those were like my best pulls. Uh, Yeah, maybe if they get reprinted later, because I'd, I'd like to take a crack at actual the actual Monarch archetype. Well, PM, another successful episode. Another week in the books. Thank you all for watching this episode, and we'll see you all next week for another exciting duel. Uh, hopefully. hopefully. Oh, God, I hope. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see what happens. We'll see. See you next week. <laughs> <laughs>